this YouTube is dedication. It's about half eight in the morning and I'm making you a YouTube video. Enjoy. So the other day I was feeling creative and when I'm feeling creative I procrastinate. Now I've written several stories on the writing site Protagonise which are half finished but I didn't feel motivated enough to continue any of those. So I decided to start a new story on a different writing site, namely Wattpad. Now I've never used Wattpad before so I'm a bit of an amateur with it but I was introduced to it by my friend Immy who also likes writing and she has a YouTube account as well called Yukavision so I will link to her and her writing site down below and if I find a way I will also link to her somewhere in this vicinity anyway I thought as a little treat for you lot I would read you the prologue to said story which I've posted on Wattpad and I would appreciate any constructive criticism you may have about it and your thoughts on what you think of it and whether you'd read on because if you would I might post a video of me reading the next chapter which I've not written at the moment so the story is called Not So Naive Prologue I shoved the last suitcase into the boot of my little Nissan Micra and slammed it shut with difficulty as I packed so much possibly too much but hell you only go to uni once I leaned against my car and breathed in the summer breeze the sun was shining brightly in the, in the cloudless sky and everything was just so perfect I was going to study a creative writing course at one of the top universities I was spreading my wings and flying the nest, leaving the tranquil countryside that had been my home for so long and hitting the big city. My mother came out of the house walking briskly up the drive towards me and when she reached me she pulled me into a tight hug and I could hear her sobbing into my bony shoulder. Don't cry mum, I'll be fine and I'll ring you loads, I said trying to comfort her but this just made her sob louder. My baby is all grown up she sobbed and I could feel my cheeks burning brightly as she said it. She pulled out the hug and tucked a stray hair which was dangling over my face behind my ear and then smiled warmly at me, her green eyes filled with unshed tears of happiness. If your father could see you now, he'd be so proud of you, Elodie. His little girl off to study a creative writing course at a high standard university. I miss him, I murmured. And as I said it, a soft breeze blew and it was though dad was saying that he was there in spirit even if he couldn't be there in person. I miss him too sweetheart but he's always here with us in here. My mum placed a hand on my heart and as she did so I let a stray tear slip down my cheek which I brushed away instantly. Dad would have wanted me to be happy. I've packed you some food for the journey, Elodie. Save you money, as I'll try and rip you off at the services. My mum said, hand me a cool bag full to the brim with sandwiches, crisps, and all sorts of other goodies for my consumption en route. Thanks, mum, I said. I'd best be going, otherwise I'll be late, I said, giving her a peck on the cheek and giving her a hug. Read me when you get there, won't you? Don't worry, I will, I said, opening the driver's side door, clambering in, and winding down the window to say a final goodbye to my mum who had just pulled out her handkerchief. Drive safe, she said, damn at her eyes which were filled with tears again. Bye mum, and with that I wound down my window, switched on my sat nav which had the uni campus postcode programmed into it and listened. At the end of the road, turn right. <laughs> Tell me below what you think of the prologue, I'd be happy to hear what you think. 